All right, hello. It's me. It's been 21 days. I finally getting out of my house to um, deal with the registration so I can go into Slab City. Yeah. 21 days. Whoa. And I still, now I'm in front of the place. I'm sure it's going to be easy. I've already done smog checks. But I'm already feeling like this guy out there, the one wearing the yellow. Why is he wearing the yellow? That special yellow, like they're, they think they're patrol people or something. Right? So maybe he's an impersonating a cop. So now that's my day. I, I just came out after 21 days of seclusion. Even my neighbors weren't coming by anymore. They could tell from a distance. Yeah. Or I'd just be wearing this mask, a hat, and these sunglasses, right? No, maybe I'm giving off vibes. So we are here. We, we went to the other car to grab our icon, the newest icon. Oh, that's not nice, upside down. That's our patron saint of the Bodnar Criden. Yeah, okay. Let's just go out, all we're gonna do, that's why I'm taking you with me, is just ask, hey, do you got any time to do a quick smart? I got all the papers here. Let's do that first. Let's be prepared before we go out there and make a fool of ourselves. Also, the wind. It's, I, I thought I've waited it out. It's been months of this insane wind, which I believe, and YouTube's notifying me right now in the middle of this, go away please, notification. It's telling me, yes, you're right. It is as bad as getting a lot of flies on your face all the time in Slab City, like you're a baby in, in one of those commercials with the girl from All in the Family, right? Who's turned bulimic because the father in that sitcom way back in the 70s would be saying meathead to her husband who was, you know, vegan as she was. Do you see the problems, how she became bulimic? Anyways, you know, the commercial I'm talking about, they show the baby with, with the bloated stomachs who have signed, I assume, some sort of agreement. YouTube is saying yes, they have signed something so they, they can't have the flies flying around on their faces, these babies. And that's how I suddenly pictured Slab City, right? I'm, now I'm looking at it like it's not just a skate park down there where I could get some skating done. It's more like uh, I should do a lot of drinking while I'm there. I would enjoy that. I believe I would. But I did some testing here over the last two weeks, just twice. A little bit of nothingness in alcohol and my head goes straight to that headache of insane pain it's like right under it's it's yeah it's as though they gave me something something i believe in those drugs that are making it so that when i drink alcohol i get extremely sick no matter how much curious that was my go-to in april this is my worst month for depression i just need to make it through april so my whole trip is that I don't want drama. And I heard that over in Slabs, possibly there could be some drama. And so I'm trying to figure out, well, I, I do want to go. I want to bring those books. It seems like that would be great to take my books because there's some really good ones. And I, I've been collecting them. So it would be really freeing to just give that to that community but if there are people who are just gonna steal it or or piss on it you know all of a sudden I was getting scared because it's like as if you don't have like five people guarding the library during the summer which where it's 130 degrees how am I even gonna find the cello my other idea of course is gonna go play the cello there 
and jam. But how am I gonna find a cello that's gonna accept 120 degree weather? And then I realized, what about me? I forgot all about my high blood pressure and how just a little bit of heat, I got the air conditioning, like I wanna turn the air conditioning on right now. And it is in Nolita. Oh, well, it's 79 degrees. Yeah, it's 80 degrees. All right, yeah, no. You see, and I'm 80 degrees is, and that's feeling hot. And I'm feeling anxious because I bet they don't have that wind. So I won't be able to use the wind as an excuse for me not wanting to be there. And wanting to be like, I could only be in that situation if I was really messed up. And since alcohol's not working anymore, and I know there must be a lot of crystal meth out there and stuff, I think that would be bad news for me. So, yeah. And it doesn't seem like they have a big marijuana plantation growing anywhere around there. So that makes me nervous. Because that's, it's my one last vice that seems to at least calm some of the stress. See the drama I'm bringing on? Just to go do this, come on. All right, so anyways, that's just what was at six minutes 33 to come back to my usual content method. Um, that's one of the things that's been going through my head. Um, other things is like losing part of my face. Um, for other reasons, um, these kind of things that are gnawing at me, realizing that, you know, there's going to be this money, money's to be paid for that car that was sitting in the shop for over six months. And they're going to say, well, you didn't do the blah, 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 you know, meaning it's parked or you're supposed to do stuff. And I just can't do all that stuff. And then it's just going to be penalties and penalties are just money. And then suddenly I do not. I don't have the money, I realized. And the, and the tax people aren't giving me my money back. And everyone else I've seen has already gotten their two checks. Those two checks would be very helpful from the government. That's when it dropped. It said, shut up before you say too much okay no i love the government of the united states of america for to which they stand injustices everywhere under all thank you for coming with me people this is my life there's going to be a wind i don't have the windscreen for the iphone 8 yet Do I need to go around? Or I, I just wanted to ask a quick question. If you ha if you have time for a... Oh, oh, there you are. Just wanted to ask, would you have time for a, a, a smart? Where year is it? Uh, oh, it's the Honda? It's the Honda there. Yeah, just pull it right on the side and be up to your score. All right, thank you so much, awesome. Wow. Well, I like that. Thank you. See, you, you brought me luck right away. Hey, know that Honda, that's the right answer when they say, what year is it? And you don't know. And they just go, whoa, you mean Honda? Pull in right now. You'll be right after that Porsche, he said. Yeah. Whoa. All right, you guys. I'm glad we, I came out. All right, so we are in the corner there's the porsche yeah um franklin theater nominate us for the independence there's been nothing going on best of year 2020 that's my city of Nolita. all right we're at the fuel depot that is owned by the same fuel depot right that's the world gas station that is the what's the other thing shell the stations that I have been banned from, most of the Shell ones, owned by the same guy. He doesn't know I'm using, well, he knows I'm using the One World across the street, but there's a friend who works there, so he can't do anything about it. And then here, they don't know yet, it appears, right? And that's what's good about the whole mask thing. 
and growing out of the hair is that they stop recognizing you. It's a good COVID maneuver. They stop recognizing you. So their bands and stuff are useless to a master of disguise. Oh, look, I'm getting my pompous delusions of grandeur back. So that's to thank you. I'm thanking you at 10 minutes and 17 seconds exactly. You know who you are. You commented while I was gone. I am sorry that, that I didn't go on to anything. So I, I assumed people were caring and wrote things. But when I looked and afterwards yesterday, I, I was like, wow, you guys are really cool. So I think I, I don't want anyone to ever worry. Um, but I really was grateful to see that you guys care. Um, and one of you asked, what can I do? No, you already started it, dude. You got me where I'm going to slaps. I can't, I can't chicken out of this thing. There's no reason to. I'll have a car that works. Just help me stay on track. Uh, when I get down there, down south, uh, it's like four hours, five hours in this desert. I just need to know you guys would have my back if anything went awry. That's all. Um, and, and also I will call people and talk to people at one point, but right now I just can't do the dialing right now. This is, I'm doing my shtick. I usually right now would just be going, uh, and, and singing, hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone at home? Right? Relax. I need some information first. Just the basic facts. Yeah, hey, remember the words. Can you tell me where it hurts? There is no pain. Oh my God, I think I'm going in the wrong key now. You are receded. No wonder they had two singers in that Pink Floyd. A distant ship of a... I think I'm going into another song. On the horizon, you are only coming through in waves. Your lips move, but I can't hear what you're saying. I... I don't know. No, no. Have become comfortably numb. Yeah, so I'm comfortably numb here right now, waiting for a DMV aid, which will be the smog thing. Get the tags and get down to Slap City. So. I got a couple more days I, uh, of this kind of downness and then I believe I will be able to crawl out and actually talk to people and do stuff. Because if I'm not going to be able to talk to anyone when I get down there, unless I'm thoroughly messed up, it's not going to be possible. At 13.33, I think that's the truth. I love you guys. Thanks for watching this. You know... And uh, I, I hope I don't offend ever by saying something or doing something. Okay, peace out, you guys. Thanks again.